Write each statement as an equation. Let x represent a number. Twice the difference of a number and 7 is 17. So the difference of a number and 7 is this x minus 7 part. And then twice the difference is we need to multiply that whole subtraction expression by 2. This phrase is means equal, and 17 would be what it is equal to. Consider the price list. What can the equation 2x plus 5 equals 25 represent? This would represent that the cost of two items and a $5 item came out to $25. Total. So that would mean we need two $10 items. So that could be the price of two water bottles and then a $5 item could be the pack of folders. It could also be the price of two drawstring bags and a 10-pack of pencils. For problems 2 through 5, you're going to use the strategy found on page 131. You're going to start by reading the problem. Then you're going to represent the problem by using some form of a model, whether that's an equation or a table or a diagram. Then you will solve the problem and ask yourself if it makes sense based on the context and then summarize your results. A new pizza place is selling discount cards to gain customers. One card offers the card holder 12 pizzas at a discounted price plus six pizzas for a dollar each. Another card offers the card holder six visits where they get three pizzas per visit, two pizzas for a discounted price, and one pizza for a dollar. At what discounted price would the deals on the cards be the same? So when we read through it, we see that we're looking for when the discount, what discounted price would make the deals on the cards the same. It told us that card one, they get 12 pizzas at a discount. So if we're going to start to represent this, now that we've read the problem, 12 pizzas at a discount and 6 pizzas for a dollar. So that would be $6. And we want them to be the same so that the deal on the cards is the same. It also told us that card two, they get six visits where they get two discounted pizzas and one pizza for a dollar. And there are six of those visits. Next step after we represent is to solve. So we will distribute here. This gives us 12d plus 6 equals 6 times 2 is 12, so 12d, and 6 times 1 is 6. I notice that the variable term and the number term match. So this is going to have infinite solutions. So we've solved it. It has infinite solutions, but we need to summarize it and explain, well, what does that mean based on this pizza situation? It means that the discount price doesn't matter because 
whatever discount we decide on, the cards are going to have the same deal. Problem three. In 2020, the city of Franklin's population was about 6,400 people. It is estimated to increase at a constant rate of about 2,000 people each decade. The city of Greenville's population was about 10,000 people. It is estimated to decrease at a constant rate of about 1,200 people each decade. In what year will the two cities have approximately the same population? Round your answer to the nearest year. So now that we have read it, we need to represent the problem in the form of an equation. Let's use X to represent the decades. The first piece, or the first city, Franklin, started with 6,400 people. And it increased, which means goes up, 2,000 people each decade. Greenville started at 10,000 people, and it is going to decrease 1,200 people per decade. And our goal is to figure out when they have the same population. So that means when they are equal to each other. The next step in our read, represent, solve, summarize is to solve. So I see I have variables on both sides. I'm going to move my variables to the left side and my numbers to the right side. Six thousand four hundred is still here, and the ten thousand is still on the right. Then I need to move my numbers together. And then I will divide both sides by three thousand two hundred to figure out how many decades. And this comes out to 1.125, but it does ask us to round to the nearest year. So if that is 1.125 decades, we need to change it to years. Well, there are 10 years in a decade. So 11.25 rounds to 11 years. So in our summarize step, we will say that the population of these two cities will be about the same in the year well, then 11 years from 2020, that would be the year 2031. Henry rents an electric scooter. A 24-hour pass costs $10 and an additional 75 cents for every mile ridden. A 72-hour pass costs $18 and an additional $0.25 cents for every mile ridden. How many miles does Henry have to ride for the total cost to be the same? So in the first scenario, it was a $10 charge plus $0.75 cents per mile. We'll use M to represent the miles. In the other pass, it was an $18 charge and 25 cents per mile. The length of the pass is not going to be used in our representation or equation.
that's just the way that they're labeled. So this would be the 24 hour pass and the 72 hour pass. So we need to move our variables to the same side. So I'm going to move mine to the left. And I'm going to move my numbers to the right. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.5 to figure out how many miles it would be for them to be the same price. And this is 16 miles. So now in the summarize step, we need to write down our summary of this scenario. Henry has to ride the scooter. Sixteen miles for the total cost to be the same. Number five, how many seconds will it take for both elevators to be the same number of feet above the ground? Round your answer to the nearest hundredth of a second. We're gonna need some more information here. So let's watch the video and collect the data from the video to help us build our equations. So we see here that elevator one starts at 60 feet and elevator two starts at 96 feet. Then after one second has passed, if it dropped from 60 to 43, that is a change of 17. So 17 per second. And this one went from 96 to 68, which is a change of 28 feet in one second. So we'll use this information to help us build our equations. The first elevator started at 60 and descended 17 per second. The second elevator started at 96 and descended 28 feet per second. Our goal is to figure out when they will be the same number of feet. Same meaning equal. 
we're going to move our variables to the same side. Negative 28 plus 17 is negative 11s. Then we need to move our numbers to the same side. 60 minus 96 is negative 36. Now we'll divide by negative 11 on both sides to figure out how many seconds. Negative 36 divided by negative 11 and then we round it to the nearest hundredth. So rounded, it should say 3.27 seconds. So they will be on the same height above the ground at about 3.27 seconds. That's it for lesson 10. Check back for lesson 11 coming soon. Please make sure that your warm up and your workbook are filled in with the read, represent, solve, and summarize strategies for those problems.